Great. Okay, so let's start out just with you just saying your name and, um, you know, a little, like where you live, you're a mom of two, okay. things like that. Hi, I'm Jessica Alderman. I'm 36 years old and I'm from Melbourne, Florida. I'm a mom of two and work as an account, accountant. Great. And so just start out with, um, you know, how you were feeling about your weight or about your physicality or, you know, what, that you tried a lot of different diets. I, um, I've always been overweight since I graduated from college. Um, in high school I was pretty active, um, but after college I started to put on a lot of weight and I've been struggling with it over the last uh, 15 years or so. Um, tried every diet that's been out there. I've tried mail order food diets. I've tried low carb diets. I've tried pretty much everything. Um, I've tried workout programs, you know, getting gym memberships, doing curves, um, walking, doing things on my own, and nothing has really stuck or seemed, seemed to work. Um, kind of before the procedure, I was at a desperation level where I felt like there was nothing that was going to help me overcome um, my obesity. Um, so, so when Dr. Prologo approached me with um, the procedure, I felt like, why not? I mean, it's just one more chance to see if, if something will work. Great. I'm just going to adjust myself because yeah. I'm dying. I know. I'm like, <laughs> poor thing. Okay. Um, great. Okay. I think if I just hold up here, it'll look like the same angle. Okay. Um, and so will you talk a little bit about, like when we were talking about desk jobs and accounting and how like at work you couldn't really be active, because I think a lot of people face that in their life now. Okay. So. Um, out of college, I started working for a, a big accounting firm and I uh, was sitting at a desk for sometimes 16 hours a day. Uh, we work a lot of overtime and I would literally show up to work at 8 a.m., sit at a desk, order in food for lunch, order in food for dinner, and sometimes not leave until after 10 p.m. Um, to go home. So there wasn't a lot of time for me to go to the gym or be physically active. And it also, there wasn't a lot of time or opportunity for me to make healthy food choices because I was, you know, working working so, so much and so hard. Perfect. Okay, and here's Dr. Prologo. Um, Hey, so go ahead and have a you. seat. I didn't mean to walk in the back. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no there they are. <laughs> have a seat. We're because um, this is you are perfect for your part to come into play. Let me get that paper. No, I get it. Okay. So if you could just, Dr. Prologo, say a little bit about um, the t clinical trial and how many people were involved and okay. you know, how Jessica... Okay, now? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so uh, the clinical trial, it was a pilot trial of 20 patients and Jessica was number 20 actually and the primary aim of the study was to evaluate safety to make sure that we could do this, that we could freeze the vagus nerve in its location safely for patients. The second thing we looked at was the impact of the procedure on hunger because as Jessica has stated perfectly, the goal of the procedure is to make dieting, uh, exercise, weight loss and healthy living easier. And so we've had a greater than 95% response rate from the subjects uh, saying that their hunger was decreased in some way post procedure. Great. And so Jessica, if you would talk a little bit about the day of the procedure and um, what you experienced, and then I'll ask you the same thing I did inside, which is what was actually going on during that time. Okay. So. You okay? You okay? Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, the procedure was, was super easy. I arrived at the hospital, um, got checked in, just like any other doctor's appointment. Uh, they gave me my gown, they put in an IV, and then uh, when it was actually time for the procedure, they wheeled me down to the room. Uh, they asked me what kind of songs I like to listen to. They started playing some tunes, and then the next thing I know, they're wheeling me back to the recovery room um, and letting me know that the procedure was finished. Uh, I felt like maybe five minutes tops uh, that I was in there. Great. 
and Dr. Perlogo, what was actually going on during that time? And if you could start it in a complete sentence as if I didn't just ask that question, that'd be great. During the procedure, we brought Jessica in and gave her some light sedation, then placed her on her stomach and guided a needle to the vagus nerve, which is a short distance from the back actually, and runs right behind the stomach. We take two minutes and decrease the temperature to freeze that nerve, creating a, a one centimeter ice ball, one centimeter ablation zone. And then we take the probe out and cover the puncture site with a bandaid. Great. And Jessica, um, how did you feel when you got home that day? Uh, I was honestly surprised at how, how good I felt. There was a minor discomfort from where the injection happened. But I remember taking off the band-aid and expecting to see a huge gaping wound and I, I literally could see maybe a pinprick uh, red dot where, where it was and it was easily covered with just a regular band-aid. Great. Now I'm going to have to stand up again. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I should have bought a tripod or something. We can yeah. stand too if that would help. Oh, it's okay. You guys are perfect. Like this is the perfect scene for, um, okay. So We're let me. Black. That worked out. Yeah, you guys look amazing really. Okay, so uh, Dr. Prologo, like, wh how how does this work? You know, for such a such a small site, you know, what is going on in Jessica's body at this point? What's happening post procedure is that when the stomach is empty, the signals that the nerve or the can I start that over? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna edit this. Okay, so good, that's why I told Jessica to start it. So the purpose of the procedure is to make calorie restriction or dieting easier for folks because we know that there are a myriad of options for reducing our calories, but it's hard. It's so hard that most people can't do it. And so what happens post-procedure is that the normal signals the body sends to the brain when the stomach is empty are strong and survival-based and almost impossible to overcome, which is why people can't stay on a diet. After we freeze the nerve and block those signals, it's easier to go without food for a longer period of time. So Jessica, did you find that to be the case with you? Definitely. I mean, that's why I failed every other diet before, was I would get to a point where it felt too uncomfortable to continue. So I would be depriving myself of calories or, or working out a lot, and I, it would get to the point where it felt like the benefits I was receiving of seeing maybe a pound or two drop off the scale, where that wasn't worth it to the, the pain and discomfort I was feeling from reducing the calories. But after this procedure, it's really helped me to fight past that point to where I can eat less and not feel that hunger and not feel that discomfort. It makes it so much easier to diet to where it becomes almost second nature rather than you focusing on the discomfort and you know the calorie reduction. Great. <laughs> oh my God, if I could literally, if I could magically invent the perfect person. Oh, for I, this, know. It I would know. I know. I <laughs> know. No, you you lucked out here. Honestly, it's, we both lucked out for this. Okay, so um, Jessica, tell me the outcome. Like how? What has happened um, since? And how how long has it been? So start out with that. It's been so and so long since the procedure, and this is what has happened. Okay. So it's been about eight months since the procedure, and from a uh, scale perspective, I've lost 30 pounds. Um, I've gone down a couple sizes in clothing, but I think the biggest change that has happened is that my focus has gone from really looking at the scale to uh, focusing on how I feel, uh, because I feel amazing. I feel like a whole new person. Um, I physically feel, um, I need to start over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's hard, right? <laughs> I know. It's, you could do it though. They, they what, you can't do out. flawless TV? For... <laughs> Should I start from the whole <laughs> No, that was perfect. No, that was wonderful. Just start from after that, like okay. right where you asked if you could start over. Um, I mean, wherever you remember. We'll, okay. I've got a great editor who used okay. to work for CNN. He's going to make it look flawless. <laughs> so. I, um, I, feel, I feel fantastic. So I wake up every morning and I'm looking forward to working out, something I've never been able to have in the past, where I want to work out. It's not a chore, it's not something that I'm needing to do to lose weight, it's because I want to. And it's the same thing with my food choices. So before where I would want to eat cake and want to eat burgers, now I'm wanting to eat healthy grilled, grilled vegetables and grilled meats and my body 
almost rejects when I try and eat anything that's really not clean and healthy. And being it that it's now a choice where I, where I choose to eat this way and I choose to work out, it's made all the difference because um, it, it just gives you that momentum and it gives you that positivity. And because of all of the positivity, I feel like everything else in my life has fallen into place. I'm now less stressed at work. I now have a way to, to release stress through my exercise. My, my relationships with my family are improving because I'm happier as a person. Um, so all around, it's just been amazing. Um, and Dr. Prologo, are these the kind of results you're seeing with a lot of the patients in the clinical trial? It is, it is. Overwhelmingly, we are hearing this description of how it's easier to live a different type of lifestyle. Whereas in the past, these folks and a lot of people, including my own family members who are overweight and try to make that change, sort of run into a brick wall and wonder how is it that these other folks are able to eat clean and feel good. And what we want to do is create that feeling for everyone. Great. That is so perfect. Okay. Oh you are so articulate. <laughs> you should be on TV. You, you should make sure that happens. <laughs> um, okay. So, well, you know, hopefully this video will go viral and we will. That was the plan, right? I'll be famous. Um, okay, so is there, is there anything I've forgotten to ask or that no. you guys want to add? Do you think Unless that... you have something else you want to add. No, no, I think you, you did a great job. Great, That's perfect. great. No, this is... And you focused on the point, too. I think we talked a little bit yeah. before. You focused on